A few days ago, the Speaker of Parliament sent members of Parliament to carry out consultations with their constituents on the controversial marriage and divorce bill. It is one of those legislations that has got the entire nation talking, as the issues raised touch the depth of the norms and practices that have held society together since time immemorial. Just a week into the 14 days period accorded to MPs to interact with their voters, many revealed that the move, strongly fronted by the Women Parliamentarians Association, WOPA, and a section of women rights activists do not strike a chord with the local population. For my people, they are saying, if at all we members of parliament who are here in the ninth parliament have nothing to do, we should go back. They are saying there are certain clauses that they feel they are not comfortable with and they've told us to have those clauses deleted. Generally, people are not happy with the provisions in the bill. Areas like burning bride wares and replacing it with marriage gifts. They were chigase, their tradition, their customs support bride wares. In the countryside, even local women, according to reports, do not appreciate the need for the bill that they strongly believe are ideas fronted by elitist women in the urban areas. The push for the bill has also put the August House in the spotlight as voters rise up to question what the legislators consider more important. The practice in Parliament has rarely seen MPs sent to go and consult with their constituents with many issues of national importance centered by the NRM caucus with money standing tall, most times without regard for the feelings of the constituents. Sabiti Joseph, WCLVision, Parliament.